Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special video for you guys because a lot of you guys request this on my Instagram and I'm like gotta give the people what they want. So here is my how I edited my Instagram pictures 2016. Without further ado, let's get started. So for me, when I start editing my pictures, I use Afterlight and this is what I use to like enhance my photo. So as you guys know, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I posted this picture recently. But I am going to edit... Huh, which one should I edit? I think I'm going to choose this one. I like this one. And then for me personally, I just use the setting bar. I don't know what this is called. But this is what I use to enhance my pictures. And I just do all the basic stuff instead of using a filter. So like brightness. If the picture is looking a little too bright for me, I usually lower it. But this picture looks alright, so I'm just going to add it. And the weird thing for me is that I always go to the exact number. I don't like going to random numbers like 27 or 17 or 12. I like going to the numbers that end in zero. I don't know why, but most of the time when I am adjusting all of these things, I just slide the bar back and forth to see what will look best and then I just round up or round down. So next is saturation. This picture already looks a little saturated so I'm gonna go to five. And sometimes I'll accept five. And then exposure. Highlight and then the only thing that's constant for me is the shadow I always do 100% shadow because I like how it makes the photo look and then what I've been doing recently is touching up the tones And then I click done and then I save the photo. So now that I've shown you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures, like how it looks wise, I'm gonna show you guys a few more tips and tricks. So I was scrolling through my Instagram and I saw this picture I posted last year and it has the Disney castle overlay in the background and I want to show you guys how to do that because a lot of you guys had questions. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And another thing I want to show you guys is how to add text to your photos so if you want to add a watermark like I have on my arm in this photo or if you guys want to put some text on there to customize your pictures these tips and tricks is basically just how to make your picture more you and if you want to make it more cute and like add a bunch of things then definitely use these things I'm about to teach you so whenever you do this you want to add a cute or like any picture you would like to your photo right and you want to go to Safari and type in what you want to look for and whenever you look for something you don't necessarily have to write overlay the most important part about it is writing transparent or PNG so I'm gonna go into the internet and I'm going to look for some cute dog pictures because I love dogs so I'm gonna write dog transparent and then I see a bunch of these pictures oh this dog and as you can see, these photos have the checkered background, which means that the photo is transparent, so totally fine. Wow, I have to do this one. Okay, so I'm going to save this image, and then I'm going to go to the app called Fonto, and then I'm going to click the camera button, and go to my photo album, and click the photo we just edited. I'm going to wait patiently. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the menu, add image and then click on the photo and just place it wherever I think it fits best. Oh, you can also tilt it, change its size if you would like. That looks great. Wow, super cute. 
But wait, what if you find a really cute picture and it doesn't have a transparent background? Don't worry, your girl's got you. So I'm gonna go back to Safari and I'm gonna search something else. I'm gonna search dog overlay PNG. Let's see what that has. So wow, of course it has the dog filter, nice. But it also has this little cute pug picture that I would very much like to have on my photo. So I'm going to save this image and then I'm gonna go to my other app called Eraser. I'm gonna load the photo I just found and then I'm gonna crop it. Then I'm gonna go to the eraser, step two, eraser. And it automatically sets you on the setting auto. And then you're going to just tap the white background and it totally disappears. Just letting you guys know that sometimes this doesn't work all the way because like if you want to use color, that might work better. But in this case, when you tap the background, a lot of the whiteness disappears. But don't worry, if this ever happens, you can click the button repair and then you can just color it back in. The automatic or color setting doesn't really do any good. So you want to go to manual and then manually erase it yourself. So in this case, since auto worked really well, I'm just gonna use auto, click done, and the last step is to save it as a PNG transparent. Now I'm going back to Fonto, and I'm going to add the photo we just made transparent, and then I'm gonna add an image, and I'm gonna add the pug we just made transparent. I wanna have it sitting in front of me because it's so cute, it's my little baby. Aw, that was so cute. Now we're getting down to the last step, which is adding a watermark or text. So I don't really do watermarks anymore, so I'm just gonna add a title because cool. So I'm gonna put Kim plus the dogs equal yay. So this font is pretty hard to read, so I'm gonna go to the font button and I'm gonna look at all of the fonts I favorited. But then again, they give you a bunch of options as for fonts and you can honestly get lost in this font book because there's so many to choose from. And this is too small, so I'm gonna make it bigger. And I want it to fit the photo. Okay, so yeah, you can go to style and choose a color that you want your font to be. And then for stroke, this is basically just an outline. Then again, you can also put a background if you like. And you get to style and then you can do certain shadows that they have. But then for spacing, you can change the space in between words that you have if you have multiple words or you can change the spacing between the letters but and then you can go to curving which curves their text it can go all the way around like a circle or you can curve it just a little bit and then the last thing is underlining so yeah i have my little title text thing and i have my two dogs so all you want to do now is save the image and then you can go to your photos and look at the picture that you just created look at the picture we just made guys this is so cute me and dogs yay honestly that's like the best thing ever i love this picture i love it so you guys made it to the end of my video or at least i hope you guys did because i don't know maybe this video was really long maybe it was really short I'm not sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it really helpful and, and I hope that you guys are gonna apply these tips and tricks that I showed you guys about photo editing and all that stuff to your own photos because this is a really cool way to customize your own photos and make them more you and make them more cool. And yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to thumbs this video up. Let's get this video to 300 thumbs up. Do you think we can do that? I think we can do that. So 300 thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button if you guys aren't subscribed already. And yeah, I hope you guys had an amazing day and I will see you in my next video, which is next Sunday. So yeah, bye.